Now, on anti-Semitism. Before I begin the substance of my remarks on the floor, I want to say a few things about the disgusting news that came out of Mar-a-Lago over the Thanksgiving break. Last week, it was reported that Donald Trump, the former President of the United States and Republican standard bearer, had dinner at Mar-a-Lago with a notorious bigot who fancies himself a leading thinker on the extreme edges of the hard right, embracing everything from white nationalism to anti-Semitism to outright Holocaust denial. For a former president to sit down and have dinner with a high-profile anti-Semite is disgusting and dangerous. To give an anti-Semite even the smallest platform, much less an audience over dinner, is pure evil. Even assuming the former president didn't realize Mr. Fuentes was coming to Mar-a-Lago, for him to refuse to condemn Fuentes and his bigoted words after the dinner is appalling and it is dangerous. Now I'm glad that some of the president's former, some of the former president's, I'm glad that some of the former president's friends and allies, particularly those in the Jewish community, are pushing him to do the right thing by condemning this vicious anti-Semite, since the former president does not seem to have the honor, the decency, the humanity to do it on his own. I vociferously condemn the former president's decision to meet with this anti-Semite and urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to do the same. 